Welcome back to your premier source for all things Dallas Cowboys, Cowboys News TV. Today, we've got a lineup that's as thrilling as a fourth quarter comeback. But before we kick things off, let's make a quick huddle. If you're as passionate about the Cowboys as we are, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. Your support helps us tackle big stories and sprint towards our goal of 9,000 subscribers. It's a team effort, and every subscriber counts. Now, let's dive into the playbook. Today, we're tackling some burning questions. What's happening with Dak Prescott's contract talks, or the apparent lack thereof? And how is this uncertainty affecting C.D. Lamb's future with the team? With big numbers and bigger implications, these negotiations have everyone on edge. We'll break down what this could mean for our team's strategy and salary cap. And that's not all. Rumors are swirling around potential new stars joining the roster. Yes, we're looking at you, Najee Harris. Could this powerhouse be downing the Cowboys blue soon? We'll explore the possibilities and what it could mean for our lineup. So, whether you're here for the high-stakes negotiations or the exciting trade rumors, stick around, share your thoughts, and let's keep building this amazing community. Are you ready? Let's get the conversation rolling right here on Cowboys News TV. Welcome back to Cowboys News TV where we dive deep into the gridiron updates you absolutely can't miss. Before we get rolling, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. Help us ride strong towards our goal of 9,000 subscribers. Your support means the world to us. Let's talk big news and big numbers, starting with none other than Dak Prescott. Recent talks, or should I say, the lack thereof, have sparked a whole lot of speculation about the future of our star quarterback. Jeremy Fowler of ESPN brought some light to the situation, describing the Cowboys' negotiations with Dak as passive or non-existent. Yes, you heard that right. But what's this all really about? While we ponder on that, the buzz doesn't stop there. The spotlight also shines on C.D. Lamb. The Cowboys seem to be in a holding pattern, waiting to resolve Prescott's situation before making moves on Lamb's contract. With the market for wide receivers now well established, what's the holdup? Think about it, Tyreek Hill is pulling in $30 million, and A.J. Brown just notched $32 million per season. Lamb is undeniably a top talent, so why the wait? Delane could just push his price tag even higher, putting more strain on the Cowboys' pie as they like to call their salary cap strategy. If you're feeling as fired up about this as I am, let's hear your thoughts. Drop your vote in the comments. Should the Cowboys secure a deal with Lamb first, or is Prescott the priority? Hit 88 for C.D. Lamb, for for Dak Prescott. Engage with us. Your opinion drives our community. Let's break down the potential financial fumble here. The longer the Cowboys wait to seal these deals, the more expensive these talents could become. Remember, each season brings new benchmarks and player salaries. Just imagine, C.D. Lamb could be looking at a deal worth around $35 million a year if they delay too long. That's not just a chunk of change, that's a whole bank vault. And here's where the real crunch comes in. With a $61 million cap hit looming over Prescott this year, every move or non-move has ripple effects across the team's financial health and roster strategy. Friends, your subscriptions help us keep bringing you the hottest takes and the latest updates straight from the gridiron. So, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and let's keep building this incredible community together. Now, let's switch gears and dive deeper into the tactical side. With Prescott's potential cap hit and the uncertainty around Lamb's extension, it's crucial to analyze how this affects the team's on-field strategies. Will these contract stalls limit our ability to strengthen other key positions? Every decision in the front office echoes down to the turf. The Cowboys could be looking at a narrower window to optimize their roster around these cornerstone players. As we've seen in past seasons, timing in contract negotiations isn't just about numbers, it's about maintaining a competitive team dynamic. History has taught us a lot. Recall how the Demarcus Lawrence deal played out or the first Prescott negotiations. The longer it drags, the pricier it tends to get, 
but also the more distracting it can become for the players and fans alike. And speaking of history, let's not forget the importance of legacy and morale. Players like Prescott and Lamb aren't just assets, they're leaders who set the tone for the entire squad. Their satisfaction with contract terms can boost the team's morale or, conversely, sow seeds of discord. We've also seen plenty of fan reactions, and let's just say, patience is wearing thin. Cowboys Nation expects action, expects commitment, and expects excellence. What are your thoughts? Join the conversation in our live chat now or leave a comment below. We're here to amplify your voice. As we keep a close watch on these developments, remember that your insights and theories help enrich our discussions. The dialogue we have here on Cowboys News TV isn't just about sharing news, it's about fostering a passionate community of fans who love their team. So, don't be shy. Engage with our content, share your predictions, and maybe even disagree with us. After all, every perspective adds value. And while you're at it, why not bring a friend into our growing community? Share our videos, invite them to subscribe, and help us hit that epic milestone of 9,000 subscribers. A quick reminder, hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet and smash that bell icon so you don't miss any updates from us. Every subscriber makes a difference, and your support fuels our dedication to bringing you the best Cowboys coverage out there. Now, we're diving deep into the whirlwind of trade rumors swirling around. The latest buzz? It's about Najee Harris potentially donning the Cowboys blue. Thanks to everyone who tagged us in these discussions. Let's break it down. The rumor mill, fueled by speculative comments from self-proclaimed NFL insider John Freela, whose credibility, let's just say, is highly questionable, suggests that Harris could be eyeing a move to the Cowboys. But folks, take this with a grain of salt. Najee Harris, known for his powerhouse performances, unfortunately finds himself at the center of these speculations after the Steelers declined his fifth-year option. This puts a question mark on his future in Pittsburgh, but does it point to Dallas as his next home? Before we get carried away, remember, John is the same insider who misreported on Brandon Ayuk and made questionable claims about Joe Burrow's surgery. Accuracy isn't his strong suit. Stirring the pot even more, some fans propose a trade where the Cowboys snag Harris for a 2025 fourth-round pick. That's a heavy bet for what could be just a one-year stint. So, Cowboys Nation, what do you think? Would you take this deal? Why for yes and for no? Sound off in the comments. Let's analyze. Harris has consistently hit over a 1,000 yards each season, despite the Steelers' struggling offensive line. There's no doubt he'd be a top asset in our backfield. But is trading a fourth rounder the best move for a potentially short-term gain? Comparing Harris to our current lineup, he could bring a new dynamic. However, trading for a year's service? That might be steep, especially when younger prospects might offer more team control and longer-term benefits. Keep in mind, Pittsburgh also likes what they see in Jalen Warren and doesn't have depth to easily part with Harris. It's a complex situation, and maybe a fourth rounder is too rich for a likely temporary solution. As the trade winds blow, stay connected with us. Cast your votes, share your thoughts, and let's keep the discussion lively. Your insights are what make this community amazing. Let's drill down even further. What exactly would Najee Harris bring to the Cowboys if such a trade were to go through? It's not just about his impressive rushing yards, it's about his impact on every play. Harris is a force in both the running and passing games, a dual threat back who can elevate our offensive capabilities. Watching these highlights, you can see Harris's ability to break tackles and his knack for turning short gains into big plays. But, let's also discuss durability. Harris has been a workhorse for Pittsburgh, which is a double-edged sword. High carry volumes mean proven stamina and reliability, yet they also raise concerns about long-term wear and tear. Financially speaking, bringing in Harris would certainly require some cap maneuvering. His entry might necessitate rethinking other positions or contracts to ensure a balanced salary cap, keeping in mind future signings and the overall team structure. History can teach us a lot. 
Let's look back at similar scenarios in the NFL where teams traded for high-profile running backs. What were the outcomes? How did these trades impact the team's immediate success and future prospects? Understanding these can give us a clearer picture of what the Cowboys might be considering. In many cases, these moves have brought immediate improvement, but sometimes at the cost of long-term flexibility. It's a strategic gamble, and the Cowboys' front office surely weighs these factors heavily. So, is the juice worth the squeeze? Is the potential short-term boost worth the risk of sacrificing future draft capital and financial flexibility? These are the questions we need to ponder and debate as a fan community. And now, it's your turn to weigh in. Do you think Najee Harris is the missing piece for a serious Cowboys playoff run, or should the team conserve resources and focus on building through the draft? Click on the poll on your screen now and let us know your thoughts. To dive even deeper, we've invited expert analyst, Coach Mike Daniels, to share his insights on how Harris could fit into the Cowboys scheme and what adjustments the team would need to make. Coach Daniels, what's your take on this potential trade? Thank you, Coach Daniels. That's some keen insight into how a player of Harris's caliber could shift the dynamics on the field for the Cowboys. As we wrap up today's episode, a big thank you to everyone who's been engaging with our content, sharing comments, and participating in polls. Don't forget, if you haven't subscribed yet, now's the perfect time. Help us hit our goal and keep up with all the latest Cowboys news and analyses. Stay tuned for our next episode where we'll break down the aftermath of this rumor, whether it turns into a reality or fizzles out. Plus, we'll cover all the reactions and future implications. For Cowboys News TV, I'm your host, signing off. Keep the spirit alive and go Cowboys!